Hello and welcome back to another video with Exercise for All. My name is Matt and today I have got some baked beans. Now, we are going to be using, I suppose, a little bit of equipment, if you could call this equipment. It's all chair-based exercises today. The reason I've got these is because if you can grab something similar to this, whether it's a tin of beans, a tin of chickpeas, a water bottle, that's probably your best bet. Just some sort of weight so we can start to build a little bit of muscle in our arms. So that will just make the exercises a little bit more taxing, a little bit more tough. So if you can't find anything, don't worry. Do the exercises and do the movements anyway. We are gonna be doing some um, upper body exercises to start off with and then some lower body exercises, doing some sit to stand tests if you're able to do that. So just do what you can, go through at your own pace. One more thing that I'd like you to grab before we get started is just a bit of paper scrunched up so we can do some hand eye coordination as well so basically using it as like a ball if you've got a ball or a tennis ball grab that fantastic but if not a bit of paper will do if anything it will make it a bit more difficult so first thing I'd like you to do is sit up in your chair nice and straight let's get straight into this and I hope you're all doing really well today it's only gonna be about five or ten minutes this little exercise workout starting off with our arms so make sure you've got your weight at the ready I never thought I'd be exercising with a tin of beans but that's what these times have come to. So, as you can see, when I'm sitting up nice and straight in the chair, I've got a bit of a gap between the back of the chair, backrest, and my back. So I'm not all the way back here. I'm in a good position, front third of the chair, or the front half at least, and I'm relaxing my shoulders and, and just sitting up nice and straight. Try and bring your belly in as well. So that's our, our working position. We want to try and maintain this throughout the whole session. So, let's get started. I'm going to sit a little bit further back so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Lift up your weights, whether it's a water bottle or a tin of beans, whatever you've got, and just bring those weights up towards your shoulders. So it's a nice, easy movement just to start working your biceps, okay, this part of your arm here. And we're just going to do about 10 of these. So we're already about halfway there, okay? So you can bring them up a little bit quicker than what you bring them down. So up, nice, powerful movement. As you come down, come down a little bit slower, so you're contracting those muscles and you're having to put them through their paces a little bit more, okay? Let's go for a couple more. Good. Up and down, okay? So that probably wasn't particularly difficult for you. Again, it all depends on the weight that you've got. If you're holding something quite heavy, you're gonna to start to feel your biceps aching a little bit and you might need to have a little rest, but just something light will do. Now we're gonna progress this exercise and it's gonna be a bicep curl but then we're going to turn them away from us and push up and join them together at the top, okay? And then back in and down. So it's like a double exercise. It's the bicep curl that we were just doing. Here we go, up we go to our shoulders and then twist and push and then twist on the way down, okay? And back down. So that's only two repetitions. We're going to try and reach 10 if we can. Let's take it nice and slow up towards your shoulders, push up, back down, okay, and then back down to your knees. So you can work from your knees, that's your baseline. Done three repetitions, up towards your shoulders, twist and push, and that's where you start to work your shoulders a little bit, and then you can twist on the way back down, and then down to your knees, okay? Up towards your shoulders, twist and up, twist and down. Fantastic, so you're starting to work a few surrounding muscles now, not just the biceps. Your arms might, to st might start to feel a little bit achy, Good, and then down. So start to build a little bit more speed, but just remember, as we're coming down, do that bit nice and slowly. The pushing up can be a little bit quicker. Here we go, up we go, up we go, and then slowly down. Fantastic. Right, about four left, let's keep going. Have a little rest if you need to, but come on, I reckon we've got this. The whole reason that you started watching this video today is because you knew that you're gonna be doing a bit of exercise. So let's try and get this done and you feel better for it afterwards. Up towards those shoulders, up above your head, twist back down, back to your knees. Okay, two more. Shoulders, above your head, twist back down, and knees. Last one, let's make it strong. Up towards your shoulders, up above your head. Good, really good form. Let's try and focus on that technique. Nice and slowly down, look at that, fantastic. Give those beans a plant on the floor and grab that bit of paper that you might have, okay? Whether you've got a ball, a tennis ball, a bit of paper, if anything, the paper will make it slightly harder. So this isn't so tiring, it's more about hand-eye coordination. So it's our ability to 
respond to information stimulus that we see. So let's start by moving the, the ball or the bit of paper from side to side. Nice and easy, simple stuff. But as you can see, I'm definitely releasing it. I'm not passing it, I'm not placing it in my hand. There has to be a release because then you have to respond, you've got to grasp at the right time. So there's quite a lot going on in our brain telling our body what to do, okay? So this isn't just about exercise for the body, this is about exercise for the brain as well, responding to the stimuli that we see in front of us. Right, keep going. Good, now if that's a little bit too easy for you and you haven't dropped it yet, that's because you're not challenging yourself enough. Let's bring our hands a little bit further out. So I'm gonna go wider. Again, I'm not placing, I'm not putting it in my hand, I'm throwing it across like so. If you've dropped it, good. That's exactly what we're after. I sort of want you to drop it because that means you are challenging yourself, challenging everything up here as well. Now, if you're feeling super confident, in fact, even if you're feeling super confident and you're not, we're gonna close our eyes, okay? We're gonna keep doing it, but I would recommend that you have your hands close together for this, okay? Because if you're feeling super confident and you throw it with your eyes closed, the chance of catching it is very low. So we'll start with our hands here. I think that goes for everyone, however confident you may be. So hands close, nice little throws, but close your eyes and do it. So now our brain isn't able to uh, receive any information from what it's seeing. Okay, there's no information going from our eyes to our brain. Therefore, we're having to rely on our judgment, our perception of what we feel and what we can hear. So it's a bit of a sensory activity, this. Making sure that you're still sitting up nice and straight. Again, if you haven't dropped it for this activity with your eyes closed, it might be that it's a bit too easy for you at the minute and you've got very good sort of coordination or proprioception, they call it, so movement throughout space. Let's bring our hands even further apart. It's as simple as that. We're just gonna progress this into something a bit more difficult. So I'm still throwing it, I'm not placing it. Good, well done if you've still got this. I know it might be a bit frustrating if it keeps falling on the floor, but hopefully someone's there to pick it up for you. Oh, and I've dropped mine. So that's probably my limit. I couldn't really go any wider than that. Right, let's do some a couple of activities. Just throwing the ball up, like so. You can keep your eyes open for this one. And this is so easy to do, it's a bit of paper. So this is something that you can practice most days if you fancy it, it's doing something a little bit different and try to get better and better at it. Of course you can go higher, you can close your eyes. I don't want it falling on top of your head though. But also there's things that we can do in between, which I'm sure a lot of you will remember from having done the sessions before with me, is that we can clap our hands or tap our knees or do something else entirely. So let's have a quick go at that. It's where we really start to work our brain because we're dual tasking, we're focusing on two things at the same time. So, without further ado, up, clap your hands and catch, okay? Give that a go. Of course, the higher you throw this, the more time you're gonna have. That goes without saying, doesn't it? So, nice and high, keep an eye on it, and clap your hands nice and quickly before it lands. Okay, so have a, a couple of minutes. You can always pause the video just to practice that. I won't keep going through it with you because it's just simple as that. But of course, it does take some practice. There's not much more I can tell you on that one. If you do want to change it though, and you fancy something a bit more difficult, you can always do two claps. You can go for that. Okay, or if we're gonna talk about maybe triple tasking or doing sequential movements, we're gonna clap our hands and then tap our knees and catch it. So you're having to think about the throw, the actions and the catch. There's a lot going on here. Are we ready? <laughs> Let's have a quick go. Up, clap, tap, catch. And just don't whack your knees too hard. So that, again, something we've practiced before this, but you can do this in your own time without a ball. It's as simple as just using a bit of paper. How easy is that? So up, clap, tap, catch. And there's actually a lot of movement going on with our arms. So this is where exercise starts to become quite subliminal. You're, doing, you're moving without really knowing because there's an objective, there's an aim, there's a game, it's a bit more fun. Up, clap, tap, catch. Okay, so we'll finish that there. Of course, if you wanna progress that and do more things, whilst that little thing's in the air, then of course, be as creative as you can with it. Now, we are gonna do some more arm movements. We're just gonna pick these beans back up, and then we're gonna go back onto our legs for a couple more minutes before we finish, okay? So what I'd like you to do with your beans or your water bottles, is try to hold them out in front of you like this, okay? So as you can see on the camera, I've got my arms nice and straight 
and I'm holding my beans face down. If you can't quite grip the bottle or whatever you're holding, then you can hold it upwards, okay? Your muscles are still having to work in a very similar region, biceps, triceps, but what we're gonna do is just bring our arms down and then up, down and up. So that's the repetition. If you can keep them straight, that's fantastic. A really good exercise for your shoulders here. Okay, try to keep that back nice and straight. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the side. Okay, there we are. Arms straight down to your knees, up, down. If you can go a little bit higher, you're gonna work those shoulders a hell of a lot more. So just like that. Okay, if you can only go this high, just work within your limitations, that's absolutely fine. Okay, two more. One. Two, I can really start to feel my arms aching. If they start to have a little bit of a bend at the elbow, you know your arms are starting to feel a little bit tired, okay? So these are all exercises that you can repeat. We won't do another set of that, but we're gonna do another set of something just a little bit different so I can try and show you as much variation as possible. Now just make sure that there's no one sitting too close to you if you're doing this within a group because the next exercise is gonna be holding your tin of beans like this or your bottle and just bringing your arms out and back in. It's a really good exercise to work those chest muscles, the top of your back, just like so. Okay, all around the shoulders, good upper body. It's a really good dynamic movement this. So nice and powerful on the way out and slow on the way back in. Okay, join them together. Out and in. We're halfway there. Let's do five more. So just some ideas for you here. This is something that you can be doing, repeating the video or trying to do more sets of these. If you feel like you can do more, just repeat another set, but do give your, your muscles a chance to recover in between. A couple of minutes should suffice. Right, two more, one and two. I can start to really feel that around my shoulders. Right, well done everyone. And just to finish, I think it's really important that with every workout we do, there's some element of strengthening for our legs. So what I would like you to do before you stand up, okay, so make sure of course you've got your frames in front of you, so this might be a good time to pause the video, get your frames in front of you if there's a member of staff to help, okay, but just before you stand up, get your blood circulating around your body by doing some knee marching, okay, and you can always swing your arms as well, and this should just stop you from feeling dizzy at all, standing up too quickly, okay. So just keep those knees moving, and in just a moment we're gonna stand up, and then sit back down. So we're not walking anywhere, it's a sit to stand. So you're just working these quadriceps, your thigh muscles, okay? Right, so that's enough marching. If you have got um, arms on the side of the chair, if you're sitting in an armchair, it should help you, you can push yourself up. If you're in one of these chairs, you can always put your hands just on the side to push you up. But remember, you're working these muscles predominantly. So try to get your legs to do most of the work. So I'll show you from the side. Here we go, let's do this first one together. In fact, I'll do a demo one first, so don't stand up just yet. Let me practice this one and, and show you what it's all about. So hands on the side of the chair, slowly push yourself up, and then just move your legs a little bit before coming back to the chair and then sitting back down. Okay, so it's something that we've done quite a lot of. You might remember the sit to stand test. It's a nice, uh, simple exercise, but really effective in helping build the strength in your muscles. So let's do this one together and we're gonna do about four of these at least. So sitting up nice and straight, hands ready, push yourself up, and then just march your feet and hold onto your frame as well if you need to, okay? So I know it's not always as easy as that, but you will get better at this. Make sure you can feel the chair on the back of your legs before you sit down, like so. Okay, let's do three more of these, come on. So just shuffle forwards a little bit, your feet are hip width apart, so just beneath your knees. Push yourself up, legs doing the work. Good. Stand up nice and straight, tuck your bottom in, and march those legs, hold on to your frame as well. Okay, I've come a little bit far away from my chair, shuffle back. I'm in a good spot, use my hands to assist me, and I'm back down. Right, two more. Halfway there, and then we're all finished for today. Nice and easy, about a 15 minute video, I think, in, in total this will be. Right, are we ready? Arms on the side, using your legs to do most of the pushing. Up we go, bit of a march. Okay, shuffle back, and really, really slowly sit down. So we're gonna do one more, 
And when we sit down on this one, we're gonna sit down as slowly as possible and you will start to feel your legs working even more. Okay, so just do what you can. If you feel like you wanna just sit and watch for this one, that's fine. Okay, you might need a bit more of a rest, in which case you can just pause the video and come back to it. Right, arms on the side, pushing yourself up, off we go. And then just a little bit of a march. Okay, shuffle back. Slowly, slowly sit down. Really slowly. And we're there. Look at that. So, 10, 15 minutes of exercise with a couple of tins of beans or some water bottles, a bit of paper, and then just some pure strength in your legs. And that is a versatile workout that's used both your arm muscles, your, your shoulders, your chest muscles, and just some good mobilizers and some strengtheners in there for your legs. We always like to get those in. So do join us in another video. Thank you very much for joining me in this one, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks, guys.